What's up guys, Billy here, and today we were discussing some of the changes made to the DJI Spark in the latest firmware update. This update, version 01.00.0701, was pushed out on October 31st, 2017, and is 92.4 megabytes in size to download. Here's a list of the changes implemented in this firmware update. You can pause the video to read over them, but now let's go over these a bit more in depth. For this video, I primarily want to focus on the first two points in the patch notes, and that is the sphere panorama pictures and the dynamic home point. So first up is the spherical pictures. This can be done by opening up the camera settings, heading to the second or middle tab, choosing pano, and then selecting the new sphere option. Now for this first example, I flew up to about 200 feet, which gives you a really awesome perspective. To make this sphere panorama picture, the Spark will take 46 individual pictures that it will stitch together afterwards. What you're seeing here is a sped up version of the process. This will take you about a minute to do, so be patient and make sure you have an ample amount of battery left. Once the pictures have been taken and we go into the editor to view the full photo, we'll have to wait for the stitching process to finish, which isn't too long. After it's finished, you can play around with the photo inside of the DJI GO app, moving from Little Planet to a full 360 photo. I wanted to see how the spark behaved while taking the 46 pictures, so I flew it down closer to ground level. Notice the quick rotation and movements of the gimbal as it takes the pictures. It's pretty fascinating how it does all of this on its own. Looking at this example back in the editor, you'll notice the obvious blur towards the top of the picture, which is present in most 360 videos and photos. Because of this, I think that taking pictures from a higher altitude will give you the best results. Now when you go to view the panorama on your computer via the SD card, you'll notice that all of the individual pictures are saved. From here you can stitch them together using computer software to give you the best results. Next up is Dynamic Home Point which became available on the Mavic Pro about a month ago with a firmware update. For those of you who aren't familiar with what Dynamic Home Point is, it basically allows the drone to reset its home point as it flies along its course. Now this can be enabled in the main settings underneath of the other two home point options. And my initial reaction to this feature when I updated my Mavic was negative, but for active track and gesture mode it makes a whole lot of sense because you might not have your remote with you. Now I did a count between when I started active track from the original home point and when the home point reset and it looks like it updates about every 20 seconds. If it's not related to time and it's actually distance, then I would say I walked about 100 feet. Now each time the home point is reset, it prompts you via a voice tone, and this is the same tone that speaks to you when you first start up the drone. The rest of the changes in this update were fairly small, just a couple of bug fixes as well as some improvements to the flight experience for the DJI Spark, and I have to commend DJI because every single time that they come out with a new update, they always seem to be adding some new features for us to play with with our drones. But guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what you think of this update down in the comment section below, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.